Hey guys, it's Tim, the Log Picking Patrolman, and I'm here for part three of my vlog series, uh, Cop to Locksmith. And uh, the last time, last episode, I talked about uh, my inspirations uh, and motivations, desires to make the transition into a new line of work. And, um, you know, I, I wanted to, to go and explore kind of a side option, you know, a lot of, uh, not, not a side option, but, uh, sort of a, a side note that I notice, uh, with a lot of, of, uh, people who are also considering going into logsmithing. And that is that lock sporters who, who want to go into the field sometimes, not a lot of times, but sometimes feel that, that, Picking locks is basically, you know, if, if they can pick a lock, um, you know, then, then it's cut out for, uh, they're, they're cut out to be a locksmith. And, and that could be completely true. That's how I started. That's how a lot of people started. Um, that is certainly possible. However, I have learned that there is so much more to locksmithing than being able to pick a lock. Being able to pick a lock to open it without, you know, destroying it, without having to replace parts and such, is just a very tiny, tiny part of what a locksmith does. Um, you know, a lot of it is gonna be diagnosing hardware problems, um, cutting keys, fixing uh, keys that have been, um, you know, uh, 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 what's the term I'm looking for? Keys that, that were not configured properly, um, you know, master keying systems, uh, making keys from scratch uh, without any sort of reference for, you know, instance for antique locks. Um, and, you know, and then also just other basic stuff that, you know, requires a, a knowledge of carpentry, like, you know, working on doors, just because a, a, you know, when you when you get a call as as a locksmith, um, saying my door is really hard to unlock, it probably is not anything wrong with the lock itself. However, you know you have to diagnose that and check the lock itself, check the door, and normally that means that you just have to adjust the strike by um, taking your hammer and chisel and removing just a little bit of wood. Um, above or below the strike, and then uh, resecuring your your plates to the frame and all that good stuff um, is is fairly basic once you understand what it is, but it's not lock picking. And you know, the more that I study for for this test that's coming up um, here here just in a couple weeks, I, the more I I realize that. You know there is so much out there that um, that is difficult to learn from videos and books and you really have to have somebody teach it to you and that is why I'm so thankful to the whole community uh, from around the world that has come together to help me learn and study for this and I mean it's just so awesome um, you know I, I feel like I'm an apprentice in a shop with you know 10 or 15 locksmiths with different backgrounds, different specialties um, from all around the world working on different equipment. And that is so, so awesome. Um, it's just, you know, just really great. And, you know, but the more I, I read my study guide, like uh, one of the big sections on the test, because uh, the state website lists a, uh, uh, a breakdown of the questions on the test you know, you'll have X number of questions on general locksmithing. I think like uh, something like 65 or 70 questions will be on general locksmithing. Uh, you'll have questions on automotive locksmithing, safes, um, access control, master keying. And, you know, with with the, the material that's included in the study guide, um, you can tell which sections they're not gonna ask a whole lot of questions on and which sections they are. You know, not counting the whole legal and ethical uh, sections, which 
you know, constitute a large bulk of the questions as well. And, you know, so you, you have to study all of that. And I'm, I'm a good studier. Like I can, I can read, but I also, um, I also like being able to translate that into actions and stuff like the, the legal and ethical parts. That's a breeze for me. Um, because I've been, as part of my job as a police officer, has been to read, you know, any changes in the law and hear a brief explanation on uh, what, what those changes exactly are. And then being able to turn around in the world, in the real world, and say, ooh, that is a violation of this law. Or, ooh, that is not a violation of the law anymore because... Da, 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 da. And, you know, so practical thinking like that, it, it kind of comes second nature to me now. Um, after all my years of, of law enforcement and years and years of, of updates to the laws. So that part, as long as I'm familiar with the material and the laws, I'll be okay. Um, you know, at least, at least that's where my confidence is. Um, things like automotive locksmithing, um, that's that still has me, um, that still has me nervous. Uh, automotive locksmithing is a big chunk of questions on the state test. So, a, you know, what are they going to ask? And, you know, how are they going to ask it? What, what exactly do I need to study over here in order to be prepared for that? And because they don't list everything in that study guide that you need to study. And that's kind of frustrating, but uh, you know, anything in life can be frustrating if you let it be. So I just know that that's an area I need to really work on between now and the testing date. Um, things like master keying, I understand uh, the basic principles. I've done videos of, you know, coming up with masters and, and sub masters and, you know, getting a, a, uh, grip on it, I guess you could say. Um, but, you know, there's so much more that lock sporters don't encounter. And if you haven't already, I would suggest that you go and look at uh, Jason Meek's uh, video on the locksmith's view on lock sport. And he doesn't put down lock sport. He doesn't. He just explains why the two are completely different. And that is a great video to go watch. I will leave a link to it uh, in the description below. Um, and just for for people who maybe have just gotten into lock sport and, and they've been doing videos and, and picking locks and taking them apart, putting them back together, uh, you know, which is great. That is great. That's, you know, how so many of us got started, you, you know, rekeying locks and, and picking them and, and all this cool stuff. Um, you know, if, if you think that, that, that gets you ready for a test like this, it doesn't, you have to know so much more and learn it. Um, but if you have that interest and you're good at, you know, picking a lock, taking it apart, repinning it to a working key and then putting it all back together, that's great. That is a, a part of this. Just, just know that it's a a part it's a, a piece that's it it's a whole big puzzle anyway guys thanks for watching uh all comments and questions are greatly appreciated uh leave them below and as always stay safe stay healthy stay happy and we'll see you stay out of trouble and then we'll see you next time